Mac going to pick up an Air Bobcat, a Hydro Mac. Uh, guy wants three for it. Sounds like it's a runner and a driver. It just has a small leak. So, sounds like a good price. I have no clue what a Hydro Mac is or how to operate one. I've bought mostly Bobcat, New Holland, uh, Takahuchi. Yeah, that's basically mostly what I buy. But the price sounds good and I feel like I can sell it for six. So we're gonna go and see what it looks like and hopefully we'll get a resolution in this video, meaning I'll film it, you know, driving out of my driveway once I sell it. But I'm almost home with her. She's a Hydromac. She weighs 10,000 pounds. I've never owned a Hydromac. The thing's giant. Hydromac. This thing weighs about 10,000 pounds according to the owner and it feels like it weighs 10,000 pounds it used to run a tree spade a tree farm so that all that junk on the back hooked up to that used to have auxiliary uh, it does have a couple leaks um, it has a two-speed drive system that composes of a transmission that then well it's a pump with kind of like a stick shift and then it yeah I just kept it in one gear I'm not gonna put it into high speed uh, brand new tires. He paid almost $1,400 for these brand new tires on it. And, uh, she's pretty neat. She runs and drives. She's heavy. Um, she's got <laughs> these pilot controls right here. Boop, boop, boop. Those are cool. You twist them. Eh, eh, eh. And then it has case style controls here, which appear to be hooked up. I, maybe they're designed to run auxiliary. I'm not sure. Uh, there is an auxiliary pedal down here. And it, that lever, I do not know what it does. And let's see what else. She started right up instantly. Most of the hose, hoses are new on this thing. But, gosh, she's a heavy monkey. I like her, though. I like how heavy and oily she is. But what 35-year-old does not leak a little, you know? God knows I do. And I'm not even 35 yet. <laughs> but, hell. Zuzu Turbo Diesel... About 100 horsepower. She's a good, she a good little baby. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what you think. Brand new 810 cold cranking amp battery. Brand new grounds. Uh, brand new uh, cables going to, to the starter. Haven't started yet. Muffler's cold. Figured I'd do a cold start. Cold. Nothing's hot. Um, might could do without ether. But I always give it a little squirt. Of course, I haven't owned it that long. But uh, air takes up here. Lift this up. And you squirt just to... There you go. Alright, let's close her up. There's that hose I was talking about. It's just this hose right here that goes to there. Which I think I might have a hose off that engine that's the same size. And we just grab it and put it on there. But, um, yeah, let's close this up. Oh, it's heavy. It's kind of heavy. She's a big girl. The back door alone on this thing probably weighs 500. Easy. Because you got your radiators on the back door. I'll just do this rear clamp. All right, let's get inside her. The hard part, climbing inside her. Oh, she's a big, big girl. Oh. You got to kind of make sure this lever is in neutral or it's going to want to travel while you're turning it over. It says hold this for 60 seconds and that'll charge the glow plugs. I never really do that. You can hear them come on though. So, oh, you first got to turn the key on to listen. Hear that? Yeah. So, especially that for 60 seconds. Oh yeah, I got good volts. Brand new spanking new battery. $130. All right, let's try. Let's do a three-quarter throttle. Let's see. Ooh, too much. No more. Less power. Let's see. Quit going in gear. Oh, yeah. Thing. 
just sold the Hydromac for 54 because the booms got stuck up. And we had to had troubleshoot and found out it was a relief valve that I had to run 12 volts to. But uh, strapped down, ready to go. She's a good machine. I like the Hydromac. One of my favorites. There she goes. Say hi to the internet. Prayer I should be saying when I go to unload this, or oh, you'll be gr fine just you know going forward. It's right. backing it up, the scary part. Okay. Now, I would just be real careful to DOT with them straps. Right. I release all liability. Right. <laughs> Check that one is that one on the edge because we might need to reposition that one on that D ring right there. No, those actually look good. They look good on the front for now. Well, I hate to see her go, but I like to see her leave.